Hey folks, I'm just going to show you how to uh, drastically reduce the file size of any raw recordings you have uh, on your PC or from your Xbox One, 360, PS3, PS4, whatever you've recorded. If you've recorded in a high bit rate to capture that full quality, or maybe you've recorded completely uh, uncompressed like Fraps does, um, you're going to end up with file sizes sort of uh, this big. So this, this is what I recorded earlier. It's a GTA 5. Uh, footage. If we just go into the properties, we can see here it's 40 gigabytes big. Um, yet, I mean, the video is it is it is 1080p. It is 60 frames per second uncompressed. So you are going to get these large uh, file sizes. However, it's only nine minutes long, so really it's not a great amount of um, footage. And 40 gig, to be honest, if I go to my PC overview, okay, I'm I'm hitting the red zone now for how much I have left. So ideally this needs to be um, compressed down into a more manageable file. Now the program I'm going to use to do this is called Handbrake, so the download will be in the description. Um, obviously you'll download the latest version, it may look different to what I've got, but universally it should be pretty much the same. So here, I've got my two windows side by side just so we can see. Here's Handbrake, it's got nothing loaded. All I'm going to do is drag in this 40 gigabyte file and just drop it into the program. Okay, so it's going to scan the video, and then I'm just going to go through one or two very basic settings, because really it doesn't need anything more detailed than what I'm going to go through. So as you've imported it through, here in the file and underneath destination it says file, and it's going to be blank. If yours, is, if yours isn't blank, that's fine, leave it as it is. If it's blank like mine, now if I hit start, it says please choose a destination for the file. So obviously it needs a file to output to. So I'm going to hit browse, and this is where I've got the compressed footage. Okay, I've already called. I've already started doing this earlier, but I cancelled it. So I'm going to call it. Obviously, this will be blank. I'm just going to call it enhanced uh, trainer footage because that's exactly what it is. Uh, obviously, this will be used in a proper video of mine. Enhanced trainer footage, and I'm just going to call it X264. Hit save. It's going to ask me to overwrite it because it's already there. Yours won't. I hit yes. So now we've got the file destination output. Now we just want to go down to this area here and just have a look at a few of the settings. So under picture, uh, or rather make sure your container is set to mp4 and then under the picture tab this should be left um, as is, so it should be width 1920 the height says none but just ignore that, it says source 1920 by 1080 and it's not going to do anything to it filters, leave it alone and come to your video tab video codec, make sure it's on h264 now the frames per second, you can leave it as same as source but I'm going to force mine to be 60 I'm going to force it to be a constant frame rate. Um, what you want to do now is look at the quality uh, section, and here you're going to see a slider. If you slide this all the way up here, it's going to be the lowest quality possible. If you slide it all the way here, well, it's just lossless, and what you'll end up doing is actually putting out a file that's probably going to be bigger than what we've put in. And obviously, it's 40 gig. I don't want that to happen. By default, it's set to around 20. I've started to lower mine to about 18, 17, and that way you get this nice file size that is about uh, a gigabyte. So if I just look at the previous videos I've done, so uh, let's have a look. So I've got a footage here. This is rather, let me choose a different one. Where's it gone? So this one here, PC trainer footage. This is the latest one I did before the one I'm doing now. It is one gigabyte in size. And it's 9 minutes 51, again 1080p, 60 frames per second, um, similar uh, length video, but obviously we are 40 times less uh, the file size, uh, or, or 40th of the file size. So it's 1 gig here, whereas originally it was about 40 gigabytes. So that's what I'm going to aim to get, sticking my constant quality on 18. Um, Let's head over to the audio tab, and by default, it's going to set the bitrate to 160. I like to just bump mine up to uh, 192, just because that's the maximum um, audio bitrate YouTube uses. And then from there, we are done. So I like to just go back to video, just so I can make sure I've got the settings right again. So 60 FPS, X264, uh, constant frame rate. Put it around anywhere between 22 and 18, you're going to get a massive difference in file size. If I was to put it on 22, the video would come out around 400 megabyte. If I stick it to 18, it will be about a gigabyte. So really, it's up to you, but going from 40 to 1 
is a massive reduction in file size and really no noticeable change in quality. So what you need to do now is hit start and um, obviously it's going to ask me to overwrite it, yours won't. And let's just have a quick pay attention of what we see down here. Um, it's obviously going to make my PC a little bit laggy here because it's going to use full 100% of my CPU. So if I go to performance, okay, you can see my CPU usage is pretty much very high. It's at 80, 90% here. So just quickly, it says down here the percentage done. It says how many frames per second it's currently uh, processing through. Obviously average frames per second, the time remaining and the time it elapsed. So here I can see it's going to take me about 18 minutes to fully render this out. Which, to be honest, I'd rather wait 18 minutes and have to deal with a gigabyte file rather than have my computer handle a 40 gigabyte, 40 gigabyte file and take up a load of space. So I always do this all the time. You can even run this after you've put it through Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro or whatever you use to edit. You can even run the final output through this once more just to get that quality down a little bit, get that file file size down a little bit as well. And then it will be obviously quicker to upload to YouTube if you have a shit internet speed, just like I do. If you don't, you could probably leave it a little bit higher and upload those higher quality videos, but lucky for some. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, if it's helped you at all, then uh, leave a thumbs up as per usual. If you've got any questions, leave a comment, and uh, I hope you found it useful.